Good morning, everyone. Today, I'd like to talk about uh, high, highly sensitive structures for ultra sync microsensors. Uh, this talk is uh, this talk concerns with the stress of the PhD film rather than acoustics. This is the outline of my talk. Firstly, I uh, I will introduce uh, our ultra sync microsensors with PhD electric PDT diaphragms, and uh, we will show you the sensitivity improve, improvement method as a background. The key point is upward backward diaphragms uh, enhances the uh, sensitivity. And the uh, key point is, is how to backward the, spont uh, the diaphragm spontaneously uh, upward. Conventionally, uh, we, uh, we utilize a complicated fabrication process to, uh, uh, to get the upward, uh, upward backwing. And this work, uh, we try to modify the PDT intrinsic uh, stress uh, to simplify the uh, fabrication process uh, to get the uh, upward, uh, upward backwing. And finally, I will uh, summarize my talk. Let's move to introduction. We are uh, developing an uh, ultrasonic mic uh, microsensor array uh, in, uh, for these applications, uh, including the first presentation in this session. And this is uh, uh, our uh, ultrasound uh, microsensor array chip. And for the practical application, uh, we, are, we have developing the sensitivity improvement methods. Uh, this talk is one of the, uh, this kind of uh, work. This is the structure of uh, our uh, ultrasonic sensor. Here is the uh, thin diaphragm structure. And this layer is a piezoelectric film. We use uh, a PDT, uh, PDT film uh, prepared by soldier method uh, for the PDT uh, electric material. And uh, this is a, a photograph of the uh, diaphragm part. And this diaphragm has here the uh, summary oxidized, uh, summary oxidized uh, SiO2 layer. And it has a compressive re uh, residual stress. So the diaphragm occasionally Backwards upward or downward. The example of the uh, backwing profile is shown here. Upward one is like this, and flat one, and downward one. And now we can uh, make uh, this kind of uh, backwing uh, by uh, controlling the process. And this backwing shape uh, strongly affects the sensitivity of the sensor. For example, uh, these are the example of the uh, output uh, waveform from these sensors. As you can see, the upward diaphragm, upward backward diaphragm sensor outputs a very high uh, output voltage uh, compared to the flat and downward one. And we investigated the relationship between the sensitivity and uh, backwing deflection. And we find and upward backward diaphragm sensors always show the higher sensitivity than the flat one or a backward, a downward a backward one. But uh, when uh, we found this relationship, uh, unfortunately, almost all uh, diaphragms we fabricated uh, spontaneously uh, backward downward. So uh, we started to investigate how to make the uh, spontaneous upward uh, backwing uh, for the higher uh, sensitivity. How to backward the spontaneously upward? The key point is the moment at the fixed stage of the diaphragm. Here is the S uh, summary of SiO2. It has a compressive stress. That means SiO2, uh, SiO2 wants to expand on the, uh, on the diaphragm. And here is the uh, remained silicon uh, during the uh, silicon backside etching. And silicon has no stress. That means uh, it prevents the SiO2 expansion. Then, uh, uh, then the combination of these uh, stresses, uh, this direction of the moment uh, is generated at the edge of the uh, diaphragm. And then finally, uh, the diaphragm uh, spontane uh, backward spontaneously downward, like this uh, FEM result. If so, how about to prepare something tensile on the front side? The tensile, tensile layer it, uh, also prevents the SiO2 expansion on the front side. 
in this case, the moment, we, uh, the moment direction will reverse like this. And finally, uh, the diaphragm will uh, buckle uh, spontaneously upward, uh, like this uh, FM image, uh, FM result. So tensile stress on the front side makes upward buckling. And this is a key point. Okay. But what material uh, should, uh, should we introduce the uh, tensile layer? We use, uh, we, uh, we make the PDT film uh, in the soldier deposition process, like this, spin coating, and uh, calcination, and uh, annealing. And PDT film, uh, has, uh, PDT film shrinks during the, uh, uh, the annealing process. So the crystallized PDT, uh, soldier PDT has tensile re uh, residual stress. So uh, we can utilize the PDT, uh, crystallized soldier PDT as a tensile, uh, tensile layer on the front side. But if the PDT, uh, front side, uh, PDT on the front side is too thin, the uh, tensor, uh, the tension is uh, not enough, and diaphragm uh, still uh, down, uh, back downward. And if the uh, PDT is too thick, uh, the tension is too strong, and uh, the diaphragm uh, cannot back up, and uh, finally uh, we obtain the flat diaphragm. This graph shows the uh, Buckling behavior uh, versus uh, PDT thickness. This red line uh, shows the uh, buckling, uh, buckling uh, deflection of the diaphragm. And this blue curve uh, shows the number of the spontaneously upward buckled uh, diaphragms in the warehouse. As you can see, in the, uh, thin, in the thin PDT region, almost all of the diaphragms uh, buckled downward. And in the thick uh, PDT region, almost uh, all diaphragm uh, goes flat. And uh, as you can easily see, here is the best thickness. So we selected uh, this thickness to uh, fabricate the P uh, PDT sensor. And we, uh, we utilize we utilize the two-step PDT deposition. The first PDT is deposited in this uh, best thickness. And then diaphragm is spontaneously back upward. And then we add the second, uh, second PZT because our PZT uh, needs one micrometer thick for piezoelectric performance. And then finally, uh, we, we obtain the uh, upward back diaphragms. Okay. But this two-step uh, two PZT deposition has uh, some drawbacks. Uh, of course, it is a complicated process, and it might break a fragile diaphragms. And buckling deflection decreases because the additional uh, PDT deposition. So we considered if we can reduce the residual stress of the PDT, thin PDT film, a uh, soldier PDT, even the full thick PDT diaphragms will back upward. So we modified the parameters of the uh, soldier PDT uh, preparation. We modify the parameter of the uh, PDT, soldier PDT uh, preparation. The type A is conventional, and, uh, mod uh, and now uh, modified uh, like type B. We change the solvent, and uh, accordingly, uh, the we change accordingly the uh, calcination temperature is changed like this. The other preliminary uh, study uh, uh, of the uh, cantilever sensors. It, we have some information about the type B PDT has possibly a small, uh, small stress. So we utilize this uh, kind of modification uh, to the uh, diaphragm sensors. Okay. If uh, this, is, uh, this succeeded, the uh, fabrication process uh, will be very simple. Just one step uh, PDT deposition. Firstly, we, PDT, uh, we deposit the PDT uh, in full thickness, and then the diaphragm automatically back up. This is, uh, of course, it is a very simple process and it does not break the uh, fragile diaphragms because the uh, silicon backside etching is uh, uh, the last step of the fabrication process. And buckling deflection uh, remains high and we expect high yields. And uh, this graph shows the uh, uh, buckling, buckling behavior versus uh, PG uh, thickness using the type B PZT. 
as you can see, here is a full thickness, but the uh, diaphragm uh, still keeps the high, uh, the large buckling deflection. And almost all of the diaphragms are spontaneously buckled upward. So uh, we can easily uh, uh, obtain the uh, upward buckled diaphragm like this. Uh, these curves uh, are profiles of the diaphragms using type A PZT and type B PZT. Using the type B PZT, uh, we enhance the uh, buckling deflection uh, around uh, 180%. Okay, and now let's compare the type A and the type B PZT. These graphs is uh, the buckling behavior of these, uh, PZ, uh, these types. This seem, uh, this, uh, these are seem, this seems uh, very uh, different, but in the left region of the uh, type A, it's similar to the uh, whole graph of the type B, because in, so the, in this region, the buckling behavior uh, is similar on the type A and type B. And this red curve, uh, the gradient, uh, gradient of the, this, uh, this curve, uh, Comparing the gradient of these curves, type B has a very a small uh, gradient uh, than the type A's. So this means that the type B PTT has a small uh, tensile stress. So we can utilize uh, this uh, full, uh, full six uh, steps. Finally, I'd like to conclude my talk. Piezo electric diaphragm type rotor sensors were fabricated through spontaneous upward buckling processes. Conventionally, a complicated two-step PZT deposition was needed. At this time, by modifying the PZT deposition parameter, a single-step deposit PZT successfully showed upward buckling in high yield. We have some uh, ne uh, next step to do uh, with concerning this work. We, you have to clarify which is dominant of the stress reduction for the solvent kind or uh, calcination temperatures. And uh, we should evaluate PZT, uh, PZT characteristics and uh, the sensor sensitivity. Thank you for your kind of